how do nonprofits manage their largest expense? Well, first we need to clarify what is the largest expense? And I'll tell you it's true, no matter what industry you're in, nonprofit or for-profit, that the largest expense on most income statements is the cost of people, or maybe you'd call it the payroll or salaries and benefits. No matter how you slice it, the people cost is the largest cost. So I'm going to talk today about how do we manage that? See, it's interesting that Something that can be the largest percentage of your overall expenses can also become the thing that's the least managed. I've seen this with the churches and ministries that I've worked with and other nonprofits that just over time we add staff and we don't really have a strategy. We just pay the next person what they will agree to or what the person like them is being paid in the organization. Um, so it's a good time to get started thinking about this because good stewardship requires that we manage the financial resources, I would say on purpose and of course with purpose. So let me share an, a strategy for managing this large expense of people. The first one is that we need to look at our budgets and we need to determine what percent can we spend. Um, maybe also what percentage should we spend? So doing some industry research, documenting what your percentage is, and then what does that mean you'll have available to spend on this important um, expense? The second step is you want to document your compensation philosophy. So philosophy is the true north of how you're going to do pay and benefit decisions. So for example, are you going to pay on the high end? Maybe you're a nonprofit that says to attract and retain people in our um, region or city, we have to pay what the for-profit industry is paying. Well, then that's going to make your cost per employee go up higher than an average nonprofit, but you need to make a plan for that. Or maybe you are saying we're going to pay in the midpoint of what the market offers, but we're going to offer a really good work schedule with flexibility and the best benefit package, a better benefit package than you can find um, maybe in other competitive places. So there's another example. Um, you um, would also inside of your philosophy want to be thinking about how are you going to hire people? What's the new hire uh, going to come in at in your pay scale or your pay range? We're going to talk about that here in a minute. Um, and then what are you going to do with employees that are really high performing? Um, and maybe then also employees who've had a long length of service or their tenure. The third thing that we want to address is going to be um, to just design the compensation uh, package. And the package is like all those things other than just their pay. So the benefits, the time off, the work hours, the things like retirement, and medical, and how much we're going to share in those or what burden the employee is going to bear. That's going to be your third step. And your fourth step is to look at the compensation ranges. Now, what this is, is this is a plan or a real, if you will, spreadsheet that really shows a table of data based on the role the person is in, not the person, but the roles that you have. And it's going to denote the hierarchy of those positions. And then for each position, you want to have good market research that aligns with your philosophy and would state then for those positions, what's the minimum will pay? What's the maximum will pay? And what's that midpoint in between the two? And those become really good at reference points for um, your philosophy and how you hire in people and how you give pay increases. Okay, the fifth and final step, which is extremely hard but important, is implement it. Implement this step of pay philosophy and packages and pay ranges, implement it. Um, well, this five-step process is definitely the steps I recommend you take when managing this large expense your people cost, the most important asset to the organization, to the work you're doing, and to the future of what you're building. So if you found this helpful, I really hope you'll look into going deeper in my Financially Thriving Nonprofit profit course. It's about to launch. It's a six-week course. It's presented live by me uh, with group coaching time, applications, examples of the things we're discussing here. And registration is open now, okay? But move fast because it's about to close. It actually is going to close at the end of this week. If you're watching this video um, late, I apologize you've missed it. You'll have to catch me on another round. But it is open right now and it closes on Friday, March the 10th, 2023. Um, for those of you who missed it, check my website and see what might become of it, when it might become available again. And uh, I'll provide the link to my uh, course site 
here in the comments or down below. Thank you.